your birthday and other special events in your life. Um, other features also consist of a of a of a alarm clock, so you can so you can, so you can get up in more on time. And that's basically it. They're all the features for the Nintendo DS. Now let's go to multi. Let's go to a uh, multiplayer. The multiplayer for the Nintendo DS is rather good. All of the DS games are wireless. But there's a small problem. The small problem is this. Now when you're playing Game Boy Advance games on the Nintendo DS, there is no way at all to play multiplayer. If you want to play multiplayer on the Game Boy Advance, you will have to get out your old Game Boy Advance and your old link cable in order to play with your friends. So that was a, that was kind of annoying. 
I mean, you can stick Game Boy Advance games in the bottom slot, but you want me to play any multiplayer or with your friends, you have to pick up your old system. So we've buyed, yes, you may want to keep your Game Boy Advance SP. Um, okay, next up for the games. Well, the games in this, this system are also really good. There's, there's a really big variety of games for you to play. The game caches themselves are extremely small and very portable. This is a game I've been playing lately, Far Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Bring of Fate. The system will play DS games. And also, as I said before, Game Boy Advance games. This is Final Fantasy 1 and 2. But the system won't play Game Boy games or Game Boy Color games. This is extremely disappointing. Now, ever since the Nintendo Game Boy was invented, with every upgrade, the, the system has always been, been able to play old, old games. And it was really disappointing that when I found out that the DS couldn't play Game Boy Color or Game Boy games. And it really annoyed me. So that's kind of a bad thing. Anyway, let's... The sound for the system is also really great. It's, it's, you can have a bit between stereo or surround sound. And the sound is really, it's got really good quality sound. Let's look at the design of the system. The design of the Nintendo DS Lite is really nice. It's very smooth, sort of plastic. It's very shiny. There's also a range of colours which you can pick. There's white, silver, black, and pink. There are also some more colours going to be released later on this year. Some of the games that you play may require for you to talk into the DS microphone, which is located here. And that's basically all I can say about the system itself. Anyway, let's rate the Nintendo DS Lite. I gave the Nintendo DS Lite a 4 out of 5, so it's a pretty good game system. And if you are a fan of the Nintendo system, I definitely suggest you pick this up. This is a really good game system, and it's really, really awesome. The only bad thing is they can't play Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. And, and, game, and original Game Boy games. And also it can't play multiplayer on Game Boy Advance games. So I get a 4 out of 5. My next review will be another DS game. Metroid Prime Hunters from Nintendo DS. But I'll see you for next time, YouTube. Until then, bye-bye.